Alright, so this is my old 5160, or one of them. This one's very rusty. Uh, DOS 3.2, but it still works. You know, SD412, which is about the slowest you're going to get one of these running. This is fast links to for DOS. Um, split screen mode, your normal mode. Form mode, I believe, is good for backups. Command mode, I, I think it's sort of like prompt based. Um, I never use the top one. Uh, real easy to use interface. Lots of options, acceleration and uh, error checking options. Uh, the remote upload feature, diagnostics, benchmark, online reference. Who cares about that? Diagnostics is kind of handy. Yeah, you can see what's going on. That, that can be handy sometimes if you're wondering which port is which. You can sort of just feed something into it and you can see it. Um, so, anyway, remote upload. Remote serial port is COM1. And there's our instructions. So, let's give that a whirl. CTTY COM1 And we get our loading bootstrap right, Sending it across And then it should jump the speed up to 38400 And yep, doing that now And sending over fastlinks.exe and as far as I remember, this is actually the only file you actually need. It's 110 kilobytes, so it'll fit on a single-sided, three uh, single-sided double density five and a quarter inch disk. No, no problem. I have run this on a 5150 before. 256k RAM. That was fine. I think the fastest machine I've run this on is a Pentium 4. Um, but usually with the XTs, I'm usually using Pentium laptops. Um, over here, there just seem to be a ton of Pentium laptops, and I've actually got a pile of them. And one more file. It just copies these over because this, you know, gives you all the documentation and all the help files you need. Eighty percent, ninety percent, ninety-five hundred, and we should go back to our command prompt. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to change into my test directory because I'm an idiot. So now I'm going to have fast links right in the root directory. So it's a good idea to make a folder first. But too late now. I'll start fast links. Yeah. And I've got the exact same interface on both sides. We don't have any of that client slave stuff. Uh, this means that I can control it from either machine. Or I can go over here, and then go escape, and I go split screen mode, and I got control here now. It's quite handy. So, we will go into test 2, which has nothing in it, and go back out here, and I'm going to copy over Leisure Suit Larry. So the keys are all down here, and I press F3 to copy that entire folder at once. And it's going to push it over to the XT, which is now in slave mode. Now one thing you will notice is that when it sends lots of files to the machine, there is the little that little thing there. It counts the seconds as it's waiting, um, but it never actually times out. Um, it happens when it asks the usually a 5160. I've never had it happen um, with any other machine but the 5160. It's the only one I've got that's slow enough to cause the problem. Um, and I, I think Fastlinks expects it to update its file allocation table faster. But I've never had a transfer quit because of it. I have had transfers quit when I'm trying to get the um, XT to receive 115 200 board. Um, that generates so many CRC errors that Fastlinks will give up. Um, it won't send corrupt data, your data will be good, but there'll be so many errors it's unlikely to finish. If it's just one file, you might be able to get away with it though. And yeah, even with the errors at 115 200, you can push out at good speed. Uh, 38 400 is safe. 19200 if you're having trouble. And on big files, it's never a problem. And I think there's one tiny file after this that we copied. Yeah, 
and we're done. Right, pressing a key to continue. And we can just escape out of this. Quit the DOS. Alright, change into that test 2 folder I created. And do it there. And there's our Larry one folder. <coughs> now, FastLinks 2, unlike the Windows version, um, has the exact same problems LapLink 3 does with the USB serial converters. Um, so if you're going to give that a try, uh, don't bother. Was a copy commander keen, but it needs EGA. And yeah, I got Hercules monochrome over here. Nine hundred and ninety. No. What is it? No. Okay, so then. Now that I've recorded that, I'm gonna go clean up this massive mess I just made on my SD412. I wonder if I was. I'll just reboot into the menu system. That'd be easier. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.